Hey guys and ghouls, this is Nessie, and today I will be showing you how to make the ghoulish gadget holder. And this, I got this idea from the first issue, Monster High Magazine from the USA. And I've, it's right here, I've already made it. Um, I used Abby as my design, as you can see. And before we begin, I'd like to give some shout outs to Monster High Cat 02, Gulia Denial, Lover Swag, and JoJo28907. Hey! So, um, stay tuned, stay right there actually, and I want to show you how to make this. These are the materials you will need. Cardboard cutouts from the boxes, ribbon, stickers, or sequence, that's optional. Toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Scissors, measuring tape, that's also optional. A glue gun a base cardboard or wood, glue sticks, and felt. We've got solid and sparkly colors and furry felt. And you can find all this stuff at your Michaels, Hobby Lobby, or any of your local craft store. So now we're gonna start the project. Here I cut out the different sizes of the cardboard rolls to, to fit the different like utensils and stuff in there. So I'm gonna start making the little bitty one. I'm going to use this sparkly white felt and sequence, snowflake sequence. First, I'm going to measure the little cardboard roll and measure it on the inches side. It's probably the easiest. And make some room inside so you can fold it. And it's about four inches up and down. And then wide is about six inches, a little over five and a half, but so I'm just going to go to six, even it out. So I'm going to cut it out on this, on the felt. I'm going to measure four inches with the scissors and cut it. Okay. And now I'm going to measure it on this side, six inches. And it's about right here. So I'm going to cut right there. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it out like the whole thing and you don't have to make it perfect but be really really like try to well you can't be perfect but you know what I mean and yeah it's really fun and easy project to do so, yeah so here I cut it out now I'm gonna glue it onto here you can take the end and measure it on the, the side like that so you can fold it in. And you're going to glue a little strip right there, the glue gun. And make sure to like hold it down and go across. And then push it down like that. Okay, so you're going to fold it around now. And then you're going to glue the other strip right in front of it. right here and then take it and push it down okay so now you have that so now you're gonna measure it to go push it inside like that and it goes to like right there so you're gonna take it out and you're gonna put the glue in here and measure it around can't really see but you can try right there so, now that you got it in, push it in and fold it down. And now you got that. So, now I'm gonna get, I already cut the little strip of the fur. I'm gonna put it on the top. I'm gonna like start right here and put some glue, like a dot right here, to glue it. Okay, I'm going to push down, make sure it stays there. And you should like put some more glue while you're going around it. And then push that down. And then put one more little strip to close it up. Okay, and there you go. It's a little first strip. And you're going to make sure to push it down. 
to make sure it's like on there. So yeah. Now I'm gonna put some sequins on there. I'm gonna try to get blue and silver so I can mix the colors. This is really easy to do. You just put like a dot and then put it on there and then like squeeze it on there like that and you have one. And you can do them anywhere you want. You can put them together, separated, or however, however you want. And you can also do like two at a time. So yeah, but make sure to like push push it down and and pull it back up really fast. So yeah, I only want to put like that much on there. Yeah, our first one is done, and it has all the sequins around it, as you can see. So now that this one is our first one is done, we can make more. So here we have all the pieces decorated. Now it's time to put it on the base. Um, you can get cardboard or wood or anything. But first, you will like design it how you want it to be. And I'll put the like the tallest one in the back, and then go from there with the shortest. And it's like that. And you so design it first. And after you design it, you then get the glue, you pick one up, and you glue the bottom to it, and you make sure to put a lot of glue to make sure it's like steady on there. And do you do that for all of them? And then you hold it down and push down really hard for a couple seconds and then it's on there but don't touch it like be careful I'm gonna switch these because I think this one should be right here but I'm gonna pull it off your boots so the last one around and then Move this one down, hold it a couple seconds, and then there you have it. And it takes about like an hour to dry or so, and it's really fun and cool. So oh, I'm going to put a couple stickers on it just to make it look pretty cool and design it. Put one like right here. And I'll put one back here. Probably won't be able to see it, but right there. And then one more right here. So yeah. Now that it's done, I'm going to put it to the side to let it dry for a little bit. And I'll show you the one that I made. It's a panda. And as you can see, it's really hard and stuff in there. Because I made this a couple days ago, and it's dried over the time. And you can put anything in there. Like, here's some pencils, have a couple of light stuff, put them in the tall one, pencils are tall, put some markers, and maybe this one, some gel pens, like little mini gel pens in the mini one, and it doesn't have to be monster high, it can be anything, you can put those in there, well it doesn't fit, you can put these pens like up here. You can put anything you would like in here, and you can put that one right here. So yeah, it's sort of like what it's 
it is. You can put anything in there. You can also use any type of base you want. Circle, square, painted, not painted, or any color. So yeah, here are what it's supposed to look like. Thank you for watching this video. You should try it. It's really fun and easy and, and yeah. <laughs> Please go and subscribe to your account. Bye.